Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is another, well, it's actually earlier than the release day, but I actually got, managed to get my hands on the PS3 Move. Um, yeah, this is pretty much the, the Move. Uh, this is the Sports Championship Bundle with the iToy and one remote. This is the Nav Controller, and I also got Start the Party. So, I figured I'd do a little unboxing video just because I'm sure a lot of people are curious what exactly... Or, uh, just the details about the move. Um, hopefully, later on, I'm planning to do a comparison video between, obviously, the Wii, which is a very important comparison to do. Because, I mean, essentially, it's the Wii, but just a more high-def, uh, more accurate tracking type of system. Using the PSI, which is the camera that comes with it. On a random side note, I actually already have the camera but it's cheaper this way because the game itself is 40 and you're only paying ten dollars for the camera the game is 40 by itself and the remote is 50 by itself so anyway this is the first thing in the package the lovely Wiimote version 2 just kidding the PlayStation move this is uh comes with its own Wii strap Oh, it's already attached. Look at that. Ooh, they take take, take care of the trouble for you. <laughs> if you look at it, it actually looks a lot like a version 2 uh, Wiimote strap. But anyway, so this is the move. Um, the ball itself is soft. As you can see, I'm squeezing it. Um, I don't think there's any damage being done to it. From what I've read, it's pretty much the light bulbs inside it. And the lighting, the color of the ball, the ball is what allows it to track. But anyway... Here's the uh, the move button, your standard uh, four buttons here. Square, X, triangle, and circle. Your PlayStation button. And then they call this the T button. I'm not sure exactly why it's not called trigger. But uh, yeah, this is the move controller. Also included in this lovely sports championship box is... Oh, nice. Okay, so first and foremost, obviously, sports champions. It's basically their version of Wii Sports. It has... What is it? I think there's like uh, disc golf, archery, um, volleyball it looks like, and oh, a ping pong. Yeah, so just, just a lot of different sports games tacked together into one game. It should be a fun little mini game, I'm sure. And then here is a nice little demo disc, which is pretty cool. Um, one thing about the move, which is actually, well, I guess you could say the same about the Wii, is that there's not very many release date titles coming out. Um, honestly, I didn't want the iPad. I didn't want... Um, there's one other one that I'm forgetting right now, but I know the iPad's one of them. I didn't really want that. So anyway, this is the in inner workings of this, the inside. This is a... What is this? Oh, this tells you how to set it up, so... Put your eye on top of your TV. Make sure they're plugged in. Charge up or sync up your, rem your move controller. This is the more technical version with less colors. And then this is the demo disc. I'm not sure what's on it. Let's see. The play move demo. Move demo. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Well, it doesn't say what's on here, but I'm assuming it's going to be all those other games. Um, oh yeah, I just remember what the other one was. It was a. Uh, I just forgot it. That stupid. Uh, the one where you're sitting on a chair and you're sliding on everything. Kung Fu Rider. That looks like crap. Anyway, so this one start the party. I figured I'd get this one too. It looks a lot like a uh, Wii party game, pretty much. It's just a lot of random mini games strung together. But uh, yeah, that's this one. So I just got this one too because I wanted to see what it was. I'll open that up later. Nothing special in there. This is the nav controller. From what I read, this acts as a dual shock controller. Pretty much it's it's identical for the most part. It it that's all it is. It's pretty much a dual shock, but more fit to fit in your hands, like Wii Mode almost. Or nunchuck, I guess is a better way to put it. But uh yeah, let's see how it feels. I actually haven't gotten my hands on this before. And obviously the last thing in the box is the camera, but I don't know how... That one isn't as important because I actually already have a camera. I just wanted to spend 10 bucks getting another one for my family who are I'm sure after playing this is going to want a move they did the same thing with the Wii when I first got it 
they were like, oh, it's a joke. Why are you standing in line in front of Target at midnight to pick up a copy? I'm like, well, it's going to be good. Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. So that's that little thing here. And if this thing would pop out, there we go. So this is, wow, this thing is actually really, really, really light. Um, as you can see, it has a little matte finish here. Um, the joystick feels really good, actually. A lot better than, well, no, it's about, it's about the same as the nunchuck, I would say. I mean, I'll, I'll do it more in-depth later. This is cool. I like this, the D-pad. This is classic PlayStation D-pad right here, and it feels really good. So I'm assuming if any games like that, um, you know, all the first-person shooters that are going to come out later on, like Killzone, I'm pretty sure it'll be pretty cool on this one. So this one's different. It has an L2 and L1 instead of a T button. T button, what the fr... L1 and L2. And then it only has X and O on this one. It lacks the triangle and... Or, yeah, triangle and square. And then also a PlayStation button on this one as well. So, here's a little side-by-side -side comparison. You can see the nav controller is much smaller, but that's because you won't be swinging this one around. It's pretty much just for you to do this with. Um, I think this one does also have the six axes in it, so I don't know how important this will be to shifting around like this. Um, but yeah, we'll find out. Uh, but yeah, anyway, this is the move, and I will be doing a review of it hopefully soon. So, yeah, look forward to that, and then I will also do a comparison video between that and the Wii, just because I'm sure that's what everybody wants to know. So anyway, thanks for watching my little unboxing video, and um, I'll see you guys soon.